Oh, perfect. You're just in time for the harvest. Ah. Pokemon meme review. Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokefans. Now I should finish up in the next episode, Ask Greetings, Spooky fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of Ask Pit Pie. At some point in the past, I asked you, my series where I react to submissions on my subreddit and a curated slideshow. And since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon Meme Review. Now, you'll be seeing this after the fact, but I am recording this video on the day before my birthday. And if you want to get me a gift, well, you can by getting yourself or a loved one a gift at the mnjtvmerch.com holiday drop. We've got two new mighty plushies, a switch case, and an enamel pin set, and a t-shirt. mnjtvmerch.com. Now let's dive into the memes. First, sorting by top in the past month. Ever since these game released on my birthday too, that's cool. It's been my mission to get them, and finally after six years, I have both copies and two 3DSs. After all these years, finally I have them all. Congratulations. Although I'd be more impressed if you got significantly older games, I will say. Me as a kid, Thunder, 120 power, 70 accuracy versus Thunderbolt, but it's switched. I've always been a Thunderbolt guy. I, I like never use Hydro Pump or Thunder or Fire Blast because I just really hate missing. And as we all know well by now, if it's not 100% accurate, it's 50% accurate. So give me the 100 because I don't want the 50. Why does the move Draining Kiss do damage? It's just kissing instead of damaging the opponent should confuse the opponent. It would make more sense. Oh, me before my first kiss, me at home. I'm gonna... <laughs> Wait, have you been damaged? <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Ooh, some fan-made paradox forms by Squareberry on Tumblr. Trudging Clay. Iron Bee. Ooh. Floral Rot. Ooh. Iron Sting is very cool. Oh, I like Flare Frills. Oh, an Iron Lure, oh my gosh! Oh, that's Lantern! My boy, my good time boy. My sweet summer child. I don't know that exact quote. Brutal Fangs just looks like Drodigan, but meaner. Iron Loom is pretty cool. Vibrant Dust, oh my goodness. Tabby Thief, Iron Bruiser, Stone Pincers, Iron Signal, Iron Signal's cool. Toxic Brew, <laughs> Iron Welder, oh my god. Gosh! Prismatic Wind, eh, Iron Vortex is cool. Fuming Geyser and Iron Cauldron. Those are awesome. Give Torkoal more love. I know it got a lot of love after getting Drought, but like still. I only like legendary Pokemon. I only like Pokemon who are good in battle. Girlies, <laughs> silly. The evil teams of gens one through six are powerful groups that want to take over the world. Why should a 10 year old be fighting them? The evil teams of gens seven to nine are less powerful and unjust and annoyance. Why is the evil team just a bunch of annoying kids? I feel like these aren't all the same people saying these things. Why not try evolutions? Okay. <laughs> Only some of these end in Eon. Hisuian Typhlosion Raid be like, please get burned. I was bred for this. Oh, was Doxbun the best Pokemon for that? I used to do the raids a lot more in the first half of the year. I haven't done any of the event raids in a while. Kanto 1996, Hisui 1600. Uh, this is a misunderstanding of the story. The protagonist of Legends Arceus has, <clears throat> Akus, has been isekai'd, which is a term for like brought into a new world. The player character was from the modern times. Like it's the protagonist of Diamond or Pearl was yoinked back in time by Akus and their smartphone came with them. So everybody in Hisui is like, what is that thing? That's so weird. There you go. <laughs> It is I, Grunty Boy. Hey, uh, what's with the glasses? Well, I'm trying to get promoted to Team Rocket's chief strategist position, and I figured looking smarter might help my case. You see, I've been playing a lot of this new game, Top Troops, the sponsor of today's video, and it has me inspired. Top Troops is a free to download mobile game that just came out a month ago and is already turning heads. Build and train your army by collecting and upgrading troops, including by merging units together, then take part in massive battles. Then you can return home to build up your city and interact with your troops. That sounds really fun. And clearly it has you feeling strategic. Well, it's just so rewarding. It can be challenging at times, but as I go, I improve and see clear progression with both my armies and skill at the game. It's honed my strategic mind and it makes me want to use it elsewhere too. Well, I don't know if Giovanni's gonna go for it, but maybe you could try being my YouTube strategist. Ooh, okay, let me just wrap this up. Download Top Troops through the link in the description below or by using the QR code on screen. For a limited time, get 100 gems and a king chest size L. 
And now to provide YouTube strategy, I think that you should do the brand deals and I should do everything else. And then appropriately rename the channels Grunty Boy and Grunty Boy Plays. That idea is dumber than those glasses. Darn it, I knew these didn't work. Ta-ta! Oh, great be doof of the sea, what a joy it's done. Porygon and its evolutions came to the Hisui era via space-time distortion. Did Porygon already exist before Silphcon created it? Or did we just witness a paradox? Can I get out of the water now? <laughs> I like to think it could be a fun time loop thing because like Porygon definitely didn't exist. Like no one in 90s Kanto had a access to a Porygon, they made it. But it's possible that they were able to construct Porygon based on like the stories they heard about it back in Hisui or like the, the writings that Laventon made in the Pokedex. Hear me out. Teddy Ursa into Ursa Ring into Ursa Luna into Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Wait a minute. Wait, what? All right, I'll look at the comments. As far as we know, the conversion from Ursa Luna to the Pokemon called the Blood Moon Beast is one way, meaning it must be evolution, not a simple form change. What? I don't, don't know. I agree with that. Old concept art of Mega Unknown. What's, how's that song go? Died on an animal. <laughs> Scarlet Violet Trainer Customization. All the other trainer customization. Yeah, they, uh, I get they want to keep you in the uniform, but like, do you have to wear the uniform if you're out in the wilds? If you go to a school with uniforms, do you have to wear it at home or on a trot through the park? No, you do not. Crying, Flygon should have been a dragon bug type. It makes perfect sense. Let me get this straight. You want Flygon to lose its electric type immunity, trade its rock weakness. Okay, a whole lot of stuff. Uh, basically saying you want to make Flygon worse. Yes, it would be worse if it was dragon bug type. <laughs> bug is a worse type than ground. Ground is a very good type. And we're just, it just wouldn't make sense. Pokedex entries of Pokemon that evolve and gain the ghost type be like, I diagnose you with dead. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> me chasing the shiny charm and John, look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. God, I hate how accurate that is. Best starter trio. Yeah, best shiny starter trio. Also, yes, the, the the Kalos shinies are insanely good. Every time I start a new game, gonna try a new team this time. <laughs> Did you actually just use the, the Sinnoh team plus Skeledurge? <laughs> Pikachu dresses up as Mimikyu for Halloween. Mimikyu, am I a joke to you? <laughs> I never thought about that. That's good. Resistances, steel versus ice. Yeah, Wolfie just actually made a video about how the ice type is better now because of the change from hail to snow. Or hail, yeah. But then like, <laughs> he like one point pointed out, which I didn't fully realize that like in the first either four or five generations, he was like, here are all the ice types that are like fast and have good attack. Weavile. And then that was it <laughs> for a type designed to be an offensive glass cannon type. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Saw this in my Pokemon group on Facebook, Small of Garden, cute. Pokemon with bad typings with easy four times weaknesses are bad and competitive, Tyranitar and Volcarona. Those Pokemon are good despite their typings, not because of their typings. Also four times weaknesses, like if a Pokemon only, if that's its only weakness, like water ground types where grass is their only weakness, then it's fine. If you ever feel useless, remember that self-destruct has five PB. I, fair enough. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Like there are situations where you could use more than one. Like if you used it and then like, as someone switched in a damp Pokemon, but also like they gave it the minimum PP because like the only move to ever have one PP is revival blessing. If a Pokemon is asleep, it should guarantee the catch. It makes more logical sense, but it would make sleep busted. You know what I mean? Like then you would just put, you would get a Pokemon that has a sleep move and then you would catch everything immediately no matter what. And like that I feel like is not, I feel like it makes it too easy. Hello Claude Sire from Pokemon. Hello Mama from Wonder. They are kind of similar. I have yet to play Super Mario Wonder, but I would like to. Which side are you on? Saying gen number, example, gen one, gen four, gen nine. Saying region name, example, Kanto, Sinnoh, Paldea. I do both of these. Um, it kind of depends on what I'm trying to say. So like when I say Hoenn, for example, a lot of times I'm equally referring to both Ruby Sapphire Emerald and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Whereas if I say Gen 3 in regards to games, I'm talking about Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. In regards to Pokemon, the region can work a lot of times for like the Hoenn Pokemon, like, you know, Agron is a Hoenn Pokemon. Whereas if I say the generation, that means like what generation of games was it released in? So Agron is a Gen 3 Pokemon, but like, 
For example, Cleavor is a Gen 8 Pokemon, but it's a Hisui Pokemon. It's not a Galar Pokemon. You know what I mean? In short, generation is time period. Region is region, location. To achieve a level of skill in anything, you have to stand on a pillar of hard work. Talent. Oh, I just started here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the thing with Zacian versus Zamazenta is that like Zacian can be insanely powerful because it only has to like really pile into one stat, that being its attack. Whereas to be truly bulky, you have to excel in three stats, HP, defense, and special defense. And that's just not as easy to balance. Flawed Sire, hard, okay. Wait, what? Why is the same card here twice? One of the best things the Pokemon anime gave us was Baby Mill Tank. Oh, it doesn't have the sausage nipples, what? As a friendly reminder, once MMJTV plays, my other channel hits 1 million subscribers, I will begin work on a Mill Tank only playthrough. I am bribing you to subscribe. We're so close. As of recording this, it's like a, a little over 20K away. So hop to it, please. Mikey, Johto has no landmarks, r slash, MNJ, wait, this meme looks familiar. I feel like this was an argument I had with y'all a while ago. I said Johto has no landmarks and then everybody is like the lighthouse is a landmark. And then I feel like I said, not really, it's it's a building. I guess the bell tower is a landmark. That's the bell tower is more of a landmark than a, a lighthouse. A lighthouse is just a lighthouse. There are lighthouses at, like everywhere. There's one just casually tossed on Slateport. If I had a nickel for every time a Pokemon named a steel type specialist after a flower, I'd have three nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened thrice. Oh, who are they? Jasmine? Steven? <laughs> no. Byron? No. Wickstrom? No. Unless it is. Is Wickstrom a flower? Oh, okay. I. It's Peony and Rose. There we go. Right? The little baby girl from Scarlet and Violet whose name I do not know. Oh, it's Poppy. Oh wait, she, that is a flower. There's four. Jasmine, Rose, Peony, and Poppy. Look at that. Wait, looking at the comments, they forgot Jasmine? Am I getting old? <laughs> Jasmine was the first one I thought of because she was the first steel specialist. That's crazy that that's the one you forgot. Wait, Wickstrom is also named after a species of orchid. What? English Wickstrom from the genus Wickstromia, a group of Japanese shrubs. Okay, well, not really a flower, but a plant. Are you made of copper and tellurium? Because you're cute. Oh, thank you. And now for the curated slideshow. Did a page of Katie Doodles based on the John Michael and Co podcast. Ah, John Michael and Co is the Patreon I have with PM7 and our editors, Tyler and Katie, and you should subscribe to it. Patreon.com slash John Michael and Co. All kinds of fun, exclusive videos there that you can't get anywhere else. And these are some fun doodles of Katie saying that is how the world works. Have you tried crack, Michael? <laughs> I don't remember the context <laughs> of that conversation. I drew this line of Pokemon based on a Dodo, Kalenken, and Cockatrice, respectively. Oh, how cute. I like the little Dodo guy. Oh, now he's got a long neck. Ooh, and now he's mean. That's cool. Cockatrotten. He's trotting along. <laughs> Why are they smacking the ground so hard? <laughs> Art of Mighty and Mighty Boy. Ooh. An alternate version of Mighty, where he has a ghosty bottom instead of feet. Oh, and now he's evil. <laughs> I made a drowsy in class. <laughs> you see, you, you've, you've put me in a, you've put yourself in a tough position here uh, because I want to be nice and compliment your art, but it's of drowsy and I, I can't be complimenting drowsy. It'll, y'all go feral. This is some Pokemon art I made when I was 11 to 14, and at the end are other artworks I've done. You made that as a baby? <laughs> I'm not as, I'm kidding. Still, that's, that's insane. You are so talented, oh my gosh. Can't form. Oh, the green one is sad. I like that the hail one's happy though. You are very talented. Keep up the great work. A Team Sky 3D model. Oh my gosh. I've never been 3D before! Okay, no, that's not correct. I'm I'm actually always 3D. But this version of me in Saxolotl style, that's so cool! The nine foot tall inch phalanx John was talking about. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. This is another submission to the, the Discord server for our Patreon, which you could be a part of if you subscribe to it. I'm having trouble remembering what video we had this conversation in, but John was arguing that like, oh yeah, Phalanx is super tall because it's nine foot 10. And I'm like, no, that's its length when they're all standing in a row. So this would be if it was nine feet tall, 10, almost 10 feet tall. 
as you can see, kind of horrifying. Oh, it's the same artist, Pokener Ginny. I was suddenly inspired to draw this iconic moment. You dumb, stupid seed! <laughs> no, you died anyways, you dumb, stupid seed! This was my art, Link! <laughs> Dr. Fuse, when he finally beat that Chinook. Oh, what? Probably my favorite moment from any video I've made this entire calendar year. That rage and satisfaction was so real. <laughs> and just my face afterwards, like I, I rewatched it so many times, just laughing my ass off. Mindlessly drawing feels. They're so cute. I love them. Oh, one on top of the Celio, get off me. No. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. Team Sky application. Accepted. I like your Gyarados. Dr. Fuse when Chinook. Ah! Yep. Yep. Just you wait. Oh, wait. I thought that said whale. Like, just you whale. Oh, boy. Indigo Disc coming up soon. A Legends Hoenn game. I like to think that in a Legends game of Hoenn, Absol wouldn't have been bullied by humanity into what it is today. It was just in my mind a simple pure fairy type trying to warn humanity of disaster. Oh, and they slowly over time, they mistook it for bringing destruction. That's a cool idea. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Team Sky Mikey, they're the same picture. I mean, they're both fairy flying types. I mean, like they're interchangeable, right? <laughs> My Team Sky application. That is a very unique evolution. Azurion. Orange Island's branch manager, Spirit. Oh, a Draconid. Oh, fun. That's a really cool evolution. And of course, you are accepted. Queendra, water and fairy type. Cool. Whoa. Look at that outfit and that mischievous grin. My pitch for joining Team Sky, plus something for Night Sky. Asterius, Team Sky admin of the Alolan branch, had successfully fulfilled Mikey's vision in Alola with the help of his trusted Archeops Griffin, Metalunala, and a strange mischievous from a rather ominous wormhole. <laughs> they stopped Lucimine and Necrozma and installed Steam Team Sky as the dominant power in Alola. Nice work. Who should go home now? Oh my gosh, Dr. Fuse, so spooky. Best Team Sky moment? Well, that was easy. <laughs> it's not that bad if you know what's coming. That's not true. I almost lost. Dr. Fuse almost lost the second time. Team Sky is just on another level. I found my Christmas gift to Mikey. The, the milk tank, milk bottle. <sighs> Raccoon Man fan art. Not expecting this. <laughs> that is that is the throwback of throwbacks. People Mikey simps for. Believes all Pokemon are strong and using your favorites is all that matters. Mommy. Not you, purely accidental, but rolling with it. <laughs> Standing in the way of Team Sky's glorious victory. So you and your opulent dress must fall. No, wait, no, that sounds like a, no, wait, hold on. First time I saw the painting during the sponsor, I thought it was put in there in the video, and now I can only think of this live lizard reaction. No, my girlfriend Trinity painted that. I told her that I like, oh yeah, I'd love some lizard decor. She couldn't find any that she likes, so she just made it. A level of talent that I cannot comprehend. Nintendo knows we Irish just like the British. Galar is disease? Wait, really? <laughs> Ekans on a plane? Oh, I like the Latios. Was at a trivia challenge at Pokemon convention where they played a clip of Mikey's outro speech and asked which PokeTuber it was from? What? <laughs> I guess I was the only PokeFan in attendance. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You were the only one who knew. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I mean, I'm honored I was in there <laughs> and I'm honored that you knew. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, nobody else knew though. <laughs> and there we go. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon meme review. Be sure to pick up that merch before it sells out and is gone forever. And that's all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all.